Today we're going to be installing a 2.5 stage splitter on a C7 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be showing you how to install a 2.5 stage splitter on a C7 Corvette. Um, this splitter is from Extreme Online Store and it is been built more in the design of like the ZR1 style. Uh, it's a lot more aggressive um, and you can see here, I'm going to hold the splitter up a little bit, but you can see how far it comes out. It comes up just like the, the uh, ZR1 and then it also has the lot bigger winglet here so you can see that you know that that's that's quite a bit it's a lot more aggressive looking okay um, they have this splitter in carbon fiber like I told you as well as carbon flash so um, I've installed both of them they are top quality they, they fit really good um, and one of the nice things about these is that, and I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about, the stage ones and twos, uh, they have a lip underneath here, right? And so when you're going in and out of driveways and things like that, you end up tearing this, this front lip all to heck, right? Because there, it's just kind of goes over the edge and there's not a lot there to support it. So a lot of times it chips the front. As you can see in here, this has got a full bottom on it. Okay, so you can, you know, one, it's a lot more, it's a lot stronger. Um, and for whatever reason, and I, I honestly don't know, I had that on, I had one of these on my car originally, this, this car here, before I put that, uh, the Extreme Online ZR1 front nose on it. And I drove that car for almost a year with that splitter. I never scraped it. Now, I don't know if that's just good luck, or if it's just the angle of attack is just a little bit different, I'm not sure. But like I said, I've seen very good results out of this splitter. So what we're gonna do today, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to install it. And so we'll go up to the front of the front of the car here in a minute and we'll go ahead and we'll start installing it. Uh, guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take you over here to the car and we'll go ahead and start installing it. All right guys, before we get started here, um, I just want to show you, we were talking about the, uh, the, the, the damage that can happen to these splitters and it's kind of hard to see that but there's a lot of sharp edges that are underneath here where it's gotten caught and a lot of times this one's actually in pretty good shape but a lot of times I have these splitters that come into the shop and they're missing a section. They've caught it, they've tore it apart and so um, even though you can see it tucks in pretty good here, the new one's gonna come out a lot farther. Um, but it just changes, like I said, it changes the angle of attack somehow and it does not seem to catch as often as the other one, okay? So, and then if you wanna be able to put the scrape guard on, which is something else that um, I recommend doing, um, you could do that, okay? And I'll put that information on the screen too. It's called Slip Low and um, you can go to their website and uh, they have a coupon uh, code with me also. So that way it'll save you a little bit of money, but that way you can put it on the bottom of the splitter all the way around and so when you catch something, it grinds on the, on the, the rubber plastic that the slip blow is and um, it doesn't eat up the, the spoiler or the splitter I should say. You can't install that on one like this one because it's got that lip and there's, so it's like that far up inside and there's no way that you can get it on there. So um, the new one, you'll be able to do that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull this one off now and then we'll come back.
Okay, so we got it all cleaned up, got the old one off, and what we're going to do just before we go ahead and we put the stick tape on, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to wipe this up. Just going to wipe it right here, because right in this area is where the two-sided stick tape is going to go. So you're just going to kind of clean this off, make sure that, you know, it can get a good, good bite on the paint right there. Okay. And if you do this right, you can see like from my, the little bit of the shortness that I did in the video taking it off, when I sp you know, speeded it up, you could see that it was on there tight. So, um, so that's what you want. You want it to be able to, to hold on really, really good. That also helps keep a lot of the debris out between the body of the car and your splitter. So all I'm gonna do now, it comes with the stick tape and it just uh, hopefully you guys can see this I'm just gonna start right over here it's like so and we're just gonna put the stick tape right here on this front edge okay and if you do that it's flexible enough you can just go right there right along the way in front in front of the holes that are there okay making sure that you stay tucked in a little bit because you don't want it to be seen Okay, just like so. Okay, and so the kit comes with the screws to be able to put the winglets on, as well as the. Uh, you're going to use a lot of the factory screws, but there also is some rivets, and so it includes those with it. So, um, so you've got everything you're going to need. So, all right. And at that point, I'll get some scissors and we'll take this off and we'll go to put it up on the car. All right, so I got my tape started here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull that off. Just like that. And then we're gonna go back to our screws that we had here. Let's see if I can get, get myself turned around enough. And you're doing it by yourself. You're probably gonna to wanna to start on one end or you're gonna start in the center. You can do either way. Um, I like to start my edges first um, just just because I can make sure that I get my two corner pieces aligned up better okay so I'll start it like that start this screw by by hand you want to make sure you get a few good turns on it because you don't want it to drop on you when you go to let go okay there you go just like that then we're going to come over to the other side. So you're trying to keep the, the tape from touching the front of the body. Okay, but you can see that that screw is holding it for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now by doing this, this pretty much gets my holes lined up the way I need to. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a couple more screws here and get them started. Once I get a couple started, then I'm good to go. Okay. Just like that. Now I can break out my screw gun and I can go ahead and go to town and put the screws in. So we're going to start doing that. I don't like snucking them, sucking them up until I know that I've got them all started. Okay, we'll go ahead and go to the next one. Okay, 
Okay. Getting closer, guys. Already got that one started. Move on over to this one. Just go ahead and start sucking it up. Okay. So now what we've got, and as you can see right here, these are these are actual holes. They made these holes big enough so you can get a rivet head in there. So you're going to drill these holes out. I'm going to take a 3 16 drill bit. You're going to drill every one of these little, these round circular holes out, and then we're going to put a rivet in them. Okay. So grab my drill. Let's see what did I do with it? Right here. all these holes. And some of these holes line up with the old shutter. So that's kind of nice. We'll be able to put, just put another rivet in. But if you've never put a, if you've never put a splitter on your car, these holes you're definitely going to have to drill. All right. So now we got those done. So now we're just going to go ahead and put rivets in, and then we'll be almost almost done. We'll just have to put the end caps on. And we got our last one right here. All right, so now we'll move on to putting on the winglets, but we're done underneath here. All right, guys, we've got this, this splitter already mounted on the car. Now, only thing we gotta do is the fin finishing touches here, which is just the winglets, okay? So it's just three screws. The screws come in the kit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the, with the middle one here. Just get it started. And this is a, uh, an Allen. An Allen screw. So we're just going to get that going. Okay. Just like that. Then we'll grab the other couple screws here. And we'll get those started. Now I highly recommend that you use you just use a ratchet um, and not a uh, not a power tool of some sort. Um, these are hollow, and if you tighten them down too tight, you are going to end up cracking it. So um, you just want to do it just snug enough that it's nice and tight, but you're not going to bow this in. Or strip it out or something of that nature. So just take your time. It pretty much centers itself. Just like that. Okay. Get it where you want it. Snug it down. It'll fit in the recessed holes just like that. So you want to go back and forth with it because as you tighten it down, it's, it allows you to suck it down a little bit more. 
okay? But you're not cracking the fiberglass or the, the carbon fiber, okay? That right there is all there is to it. Uh, that's it, okay? Now, one thing I want to point out to you guys is that if you guys want, this is classified as the 2.5 uh, front splitter, they also make a 3.5. It's identical to this in every way. Um, except it has the taller piece that goes up here like the stage three. So if you decide later on down the road that you want to add that on, you would just literally take these off and those same three, these same three screws that are in this will be in the, the stage three upright or th three and a half upright I should call it and it'll bolt right on. So if you decide you want to do it that way later on you can. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to show you the other side. No sense in doing that. You guys see, you guys get the gist of how it's done. So that's all there is to it. All right, guys, that's all there was to installing one of these stage two and a half front splitters from Extreme Online Store. Now, like I said, you can get these in carbon fiber as well as carbon flash, and you can also with this splitter because it's at the bottom, it's is totally smooth you can also add the slip blow onto the bottom to help protect it. So I'm going to put all of that information here up on the screen. Be sure and go to Extreme Online Store to be able to get your splitter as well as go to sliplow.com to be able to get your protection for it. So anyway guys, I just want to thank you guys all for watching today. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It really, really helps us and um, it just helps us so we can get more, more sponsorships to be able to bring you guys more videos. And again, guys, I just wanna thank you guys all for the support that you guys have showed. You guys are always reaching out to me on Messenger and in emails and things like that, asking about my daughter, and I really appreciate it. It, it really makes me feel good. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and she has a GoFundMe, okay? Um, and you know, right now her medical bills are somewhere in the ballpark of a little over four million dollars. So, uh, anything that you guys can do to help that would be wonderful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that information right there on the screen, and that will definitely help her and the girls to be able to uh, to be able to uh, you know get through all of this. There's been a lot of things that we've had to buy for her along the way um, that isn't covered by insurance and things like that and so that would really truly help her if you guys want to do that um, but again uh, i just want to thank you guys all for watching today and um, i guess we'll catch you on the next one okay bye now.